let's check how is now the connection and uh, I'm not sure what's right now if six what is enough but it should be okay if stable I think so it was fine uh, before that just I changed several stuff so maybe that's why I go down uh, there are many many settings in um, I'm I'm streaming with Streamlabs OBS so um, there are many settings about audio and video uh, much more than most of the people were explaining <laughs> so sorry about that um, I hope now could be fine please let me know if you still uh, don't see something I'll try to test it just with several more games Let's do it, let's crush somebody and then if you wish you can challenge me and enjoy with uh, my analysis after the game too. I hope I could be more attractive than the other players. Many many tournaments are playing now even, even because of that unpleasant coronavirus so I hope we're gonna pass this uh, successful soon and oh this guy forgot about the night how about check no let's play safety 2034 i just come to d6 broke down his castle bishop f4 no bishop g5 was much better i tried to hold on my knight just by c5 gonna be very very stable connection uh not my like not my internet now but <laughs> stable pretty stable oh here don't i have a checkmate hmm it was always stable i don't know i don't know it looks like stable just sometimes i'm changing some stuffs <laughs> okay let's take g7 oh this discover check i didn't see it i could take e4 no not anymore so let's go for g4 crazy move i just gonna broke down that pawn structure no still not okay just to check that let's go to e3 afterwards i'm limited of time so oh check and definitely change that and definitely take e4 that's great i'm going to survive this game yeah check bye bye okay here we are i'm searching for a checkmate already check here it's not checkmate i'm disappointed okay <laughs> i'm gonna play to the Zugzwang. no i'm going to collect all his pawns in the pre-moves yeah this is crazy this is crazy c3 here here oh no check can you already promote and checkmate him <gasps> i didn't calculate that check oh my god i, I hope i'm gonna win on time <laughs> that was crazy i could promote before that and checkmate him yeah let's look at that moment and he can already promote the check here yeah. i will just go back okay um hope so <laughs> um okay thank you for the information i i'll be glad if i can uh, enjoy with that on the maximum otherwise some sittings can destroy my psychology of playing okay here is the moment i just tried to win in the most beautiful way the other way could be a4 but this is a long way to promote that now the simplest way is king to f2 here we are king f2 i have to go to the analysis king f2 and then simple bring the rook here and here and checkmate or e7 e1 checkmate uh faster internet no luck but i have to buy faster internet why <laughs> okay um i think i'm on the cable internet and i'm on the best one but i don't know probably i will do it 
Okay, just maybe for the... You can see also my connection here in chess.com that it's on the on the maximum. It's four, yeah? Low luck, very low luck. Excellent connection. You can see that. Um, my laptop overworked if you have background apps or tasks. I don't think so i have anything on the background um ram i have a i7 i7 laptop i7 i have uh n nvidia geforce 800 840m but i'm not so familiar with that <laughs> um i really think so that my computer is one of the best to have a i7 uh, to be fair, when I take apart uh, some some tournaments, uh, it's a laptop, yeah, it's a laptop. Um, several years, I just had an i5 and it was still okay for me. <laughs> but i7, I think it's not so bad. Um, also, also inside there is a G4 special special program inside. Okay, let's do one three plus two, then I could talk more with you and hope so somebody of you can challenge me i will be happy of that 2300 sweden okay sweden french defense mm, i like to play a tarish variation with 9 bd2 just control the center enough here we are bishop d3 after knight f3 okay I like to play also here, keeping the pressure. Bishop d3, queen e2. Many browsers opened. No, I just close everything when I'm streaming. I try to be on the higher level <laughs> if I can. Um, Pyram usage in task manager. Um, okay. Uh, do you mean the properties or where should I go? Task manager. Okay. Task manager. Yeah. When I go to the task manager, it shows me Google Chrome and Streamlabs. Google Chrome is the chess.com and Streamlabs is the program what I'm streaming now. Uh, that's all what I have. More details. Yeah. Task manager apps background process. Uh, background process. Actually, do you have a problem now to, to watch me? Okay, I have one minute down. <laughs> okay, well, what is uh, what is not good now? For example, uh, let me know what you uh, didn't see. Maybe let's capture f6 or c5. It's hard to figure out the problem. Okay, so then I think so. There is not a problem anymore. Uh, let's keep that pawn or rook d1. Okay, thanks. E5. Oh, that was very bad. <laughs> okay, let's try to receive some compensation about this piece until now. It's not so successful. Paying too much attention to the technical things instead of playing. Um, I hope I'll be back. Okay. Zero oh, percent CPU. CPU. Yeah, I'm paying attention to that, but yeah. Mm, yeah, in that moment nothing is holding on my CPU. Yeah, okay. Now I can pay full attention to the chess already. But it's too late, I lost the piece. Yeah, I, I went there. I went there. Anyway, I lost this game, so... <laughs> 
Uh, I, I went to performance, yeah. CPU 33%, 2.3 gigahertz, and uh, process, processes 201, speed 2.29 29 gigahertz, memory is still enough. Not sure about the speed. Audio and video are slowed down. Yeah, this we understood, but okay. <laughs> Trent is trying to clear some stuff, maybe if I have problems. I think uh, Streamlabs are, is having one option where maybe I didn't press before. So let's go to res uh, resign and playing uh, much more quality chess. Let me know if uh, one of you is ready to play against me or you can play against somebody else and I can analyze the game too. Okay, to 3 Russian max 88 chess. Um, exchange Slav is on the board. I need a6 to prevent knight b5. And next bishop g4 or bishop f5 is the main theory. Knight e5, the white is trying to be annoying. I think so, I can simply go to f5. I could capture the knight too, it was interesting. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Rook c8 looks solid to me. Keep the knight much more. I'm ready for the queen b3, I think, so just uh, keeping the option to come back with the bishop on d7. Okay, simple e6 and development as fast as possible. And now bishop d6, maybe. Bishop d6 is not that great. Let's get to bishop b4. Every killing of the knight is going to be a great decision because position in the center is semi closed. So I would like to take that knight. Mm. I'd like to simplify here, yes. The threat to capture now b7. So maybe simple push b5, but there is a4 destroying my queen side part. So hmm. I'm trying just to keep that pawn. Ah, you challenged me, okay. It could be the next one. 15 plus 10, maybe it's a pretty long game. I'd like to pay attention to more people in general, but also working. Okay, I will just try to take the knight or... Actually, when I capture, capture, I could take back c3 pawn. Knight a5 is the other opportunity. I'm going to knight a5 move, it's a standard defense, and after queen a4 check, I just have b5, I think so. White can try to sacrifice, no, he didn't, okay. Maybe just now queen b6 and knight to c4. I like to play with increment, because it's more quality chess. Mm. Knight e4 is also aggressive attacking c3, but queen b6 I like it. It's allow me to bring my knight to c4. Why not? Uh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Queen b4, what he wants, I'm not sure. <laughs> Knight c6, start trading. He just uh, tried to be annoying and not give me an opportunity to make a castle, but I think knight e4 is a good attacking of the pawn c3. Uh, 
I could maneuver also the other knight to c4, knight e2, knight c4. I could kick him out, followed by f6 too. Yeah, I definitely like f6. His queen is annoying. So let's push first to f6 and then think about knight c4. Looks the best to me. I can even move my king to f7. Yeah. Two minutes down, too slowly. You have to wake up. I'm not too worried about that. I have a d6 perfect square about my knight. Okay, he comes to me. <laughs> oh, he's having... Oh, wait. He's having take tick, tick. Yeah. I'm going to lose that. I'm going to lose that pawn, I mean, but okay. I think I have this before. No. What? E4? If I take, they wish to take E6, but I think I have to take. Okay. Take E6, now what? King E7. Continue capture. Isn't it cool <laughs> to have sunglasses in the night? Uh, it's my haircut, you know. It's my haircut. Time to make castle? No. It's still not. I wish to sacrifice my rook. Uh, oh, come on. I hope I will not become checkmate again. Queen d5. Oh, that's terrible. I lost my bishop. I have... Um, <laughs> it's Grandmaster style, yeah, but I'm going to lose this game too. Five seconds. Task manager didn't help so much. <laughs> this guy is strong, but I think so. I had a winning position anyway before that. No sense to continue the game just because time travel. I think if we go back a little bit here, I have perfect position. Especially when I reach c4 here. Oh, what I need is to kick his queen out and then make castle. I think this is the most important moment in the game. Where I should try to be more... Uh, more s Try to have more safety position of my king. Something like... Maybe just to... Oh, what I need is something like g5 and king f7. Much more safety playing. And I... I start here, here pushing too much. E4, and this is interesting of him. Sacrifice. Took, took. Probably I blunder now something. I could try rook takes c3, sacrifice. And then d4 after bishop takes e6. Yeah, I could try something. Like capture, capture the flag, the bishop very well, but maybe my next move is wrong. Knight c4. My king is pretty open. I think I could make castle earlier. Something like here. Maybe I have to think about castle. I never think about castle in that moment. So um, I think here is the moment where I have to think about castle. Maybe before g5. Yes, exactly here. Here I have to go for castle, and uh, but there is a knight d7 fork. Yeah. Or maybe I can simply kill that knight. Killing of the knight on c5 makes some sense. e3 is pretty weak, c3 is pretty weak. My next move is gonna be e5 pushing, so that looks good. Okay, now uh, Sonia Lank. Okay, I'm going to accept. Have good luck, Sonia. So, where are you from? Canada. Okay, knight f3. Reti, reti opening. Right, the opening. Um, sunglasses, you. Why you don't like my sunglasses? 
Uh, okay, C4. English. From righty opening, you go to English opening by C4. Going to slap the fence again, probably. I will play simple chess, simple solid chess. One thousand three hundred. How long you're playing chess, Sonia Lang? Looks like Chinese name or something like that. I never been in China. I wish to be, but not right now. I mean, <laughs> okay. This time I'm going to make a castle. Yeah. German family. Cool. I've been several times in Germany. I played before for the first uh, Bundesliga in Germany for the Friedberg Chess Club. It was funny experience to me. Every month we had a game during the weekends. So I was flying, then go by car to the to the city where we play. Um, I've been visiting many, many, many cities there. Most of all, Friedberg, Frankfurt. I like Germany, I like the discipline there, the nature there. They try to be strict. Also about playing. Uh, <laughs> okay, but we can talk uh, during that time with you now. It is. What do you wish to play? Bullet. Okay. Did I lose a pawn? No. I hope so. No. Knight takes d5. There is no discover attack. I'll take it. Here my rating is not so much. This is my my simul rating for for example. Hey, Emir, programmer. Uh, I think this is my simul rating. 1871. Um, yeah, sometimes this is possible. I'm going to stream my simul. It's going to be in the end of the month, probably something like 29th, 29th of March. Uh, same time as my stream. Yeah, it's going to be Sunday, 10 p.m. my time. So... I know you don't believe in... <laughs> Most of the people could cheat using stockfish engines, yes, but then we lose the beautiful part of the game, you know. If you never trust anyone, then um, the feeling of playing will be something else, if you all the time you're scared of because of that. Most of all, you, you shouldn't care about the final result and just enjoy with the playing of chess. So just think about the moves, just think about to calculate in advance and even think about that you can calculate better than engine, you're gonna do it. So yes, of course she can use stockfish, but should I care about this? Um, 
I can close the pieces. But I should close my eyes too. No, but then who who will who will play if I close the Ah I could close the pieces. Well I'm not so advanced. Until now I was fighting <laughs> start streaming uh three times today uh, just because uh of bad settings. <laughs> so I'm scary to be fair to touch something uh, anymore. And I will try to enjoy of playing probably about three hours or maybe less today. <laughs> okay, I'm addicted to the pair of bishops, so definitely I'm going to capture that bishop. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say that. Just it is, it is, is um, worried about this because the game is pretty slowly. But now we're having much more time about playing. Even 3 plus 2, to be fair, in my free time, it's a slowly game to me. <laughs> so sometimes I lose the feeling of playing, but I have to be more concentrated and just to have a little bit time in front of me and not thinking that, okay, now I have to look at my watch, oh no, now I have to drink my coffee, I have another lesson or so on. Just you have to spend this time about playing and forget about everything else. So that's that's the best way to improve your rating. Clone pusher. Okay. I think we play with you last time. Clone pusher. So three minutes game, it uh, looks more natural. Yes, definitely we're gonna play. Please pay attention and also try to be Patience in chess. Try to have patience in chess. It's important. Queen e5 looks like double attack now, but she could co go back to c3, I think so. So let's just push a6 and b5, improve my pawn structure. Okay, she can play slowly. I will try to play bullet, bullet style. So. <laughs> uh, I think I have to change my stream on Sunday because Miss Bottis is very famous. She's having so much thousands of followers, viewers, subscribers, so I, I don't wish to be at the same time with her. Actually, I'm very limited of, of time, so <laughs> I was very limited of time, so I don't have so much choice like her, so. Uh, I could just simply change the the day. How you could earn a fide fide rating? That's a very good question. Uh, to be fair, I'm not so famous with the new rules. Um, but the classical way is to play several tournaments in a row. To play several tournaments in a row, what are valid? What are valid for rating? So, like, if you are living in USA, there are many many tournaments who are valid only for the USA rating. Um, <laughs> chess Association, yeah, that's great. But anyway, he wish at least I think three tournaments in a row with a very very good r result. I mean. Not in a row, but you can play three tournaments with very good results. And depends on your average rating, you have to play against not title players. You have to play against just rated players. And then um, you can start receiving some elo points. Yes. I think this is this has to be double attack already. The knight of c5 and some checks, some dangerous check on h2. Potential checkmate. This looks like blunder to me. So all what you need is to play against FIDE rated players. Like, I don't know, you can have about four, three, four players out of seven. So it's indeed to have a good results against these rated players. Not zero, not beat it, let's say not beat it two of them what are not rated players and then lose from all rated players then you will receive nothing so you need a very good result not very good but 
let's say you could make a three draws against such a guys, rated players, and then definitely you receive something. Yes, yes. We have tournaments, what is valid, valid for uh, federating, and we have also national rating, it's calling Bulgarian rating, yes. So, such a tournaments, most of all are calling just open tournaments, yeah, open tournaments, exactly. You have such a tournaments all over the world, right now they stopped uh, <laughs> most of the cities around the world, but this is just because of coronavirus for, for the moment. I believe this will uh, pass away soon and everything will be okay with all of us. Yeah, the health is the most important thing. Who will find now Checkmate in 2? I even inform Sonia <laughs> that what I'm threatening, but maybe she didn't pay attention to this. I changed the color of the board, now I think it's much better. One of my first favorite color was blue, then become purple. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Can I go to fast analysis now? Very fast. And then I continue playing card 3 minutes time control. Safe analysis. Yeah. No, don't showing that. So, here we go. 5-5. Five, five. Uh, yes, of course you can challenge me, but there is somebody else before you. So, it's going to be just the 3 minutes game and then you can be 5-5. Five, five. Yes. You can challenge me and then I'm going to accept. Uh, this is English opening, but I try to play left defense after c4. That's my system anyway. Queen c2. I could choose another opening, of course. Before e6, I could develop my bishop here or here. I have a big choice of that. Um, I just try to play solid. Thank you also, Sonia. Um, okay, thanks. Anyway, don't hurry up so much. My idea is not to earn money for the beginning of course i try to enjoy i try to be professional also in that way i try to enjoy with uh, giving you uh, streamings so um yeah i try to study you for some stuff of course i wanted to show you so much some philidor position at the beginning of the streaming but it was going down just because technical reasons again i try to update myself and that's the most important thing to me I will flip the board now. Um, yes, I am a professional chess player, but now I am most of all a professional chess coach. Uh, that makes me really happy. And I will be happy if I have as much as possible viewers, followers. This is more important for me. Thank you, uh, thank you one more time about uh, following me. Um, and I will be happy if you are being more active with... Uh, my streams and I'll try to cover different topics every time. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. The knight in the end of the board definitely doesn't look like good. You just help me to improve my bishop to a better place. In this case, the bishop is against this pawn chain, so I have a bad place bishop just for the moment. I have isolated pawn on d5, which you have to focus about that and trying to develop as fast as possible. What's mean finishing the development? Now you start playing also two times with the same knight and this is definitely not that great. One of the way to finish the development of that minor piece, the bishop on c1, has to be e4, open up the center, which I don't recommend because you will help me to trade, to change my isolated pawn. So there are two ways on the queen side how uh, you can develop your bishop. One of it could be a3, b4, attacking my bishop plus fianchetto. And the other way could be direct after bishop takes c5, direct b3 and bishop b2. But I don't like the fact of uh, that knight is coming soon to us by knight b4 and fork, fork you and capture the bishop. I would like to keep my pair of bishops. So, I like much more the idea with a3 and if black prevent that, followed by a5, then you could continue with simple b3 and again feature to the bishop like rook d1, centralize both rooks, maybe that will be the best strategy, playing against my weakness on d5. 
In front of every weak pawn, like isolated pawn, there is a very, very good outpost in general for your knight. So I think also another reason to go to b2, this is the biggest diagonal in the, in the game, in the position, so you have to hold on that. Definitely you have to go to this diagonal and then improve, start improving the position of your knight. So, uh, when you, um, when you definitely improve the position of the knight and holding on that weak square, um, you have to focus about the weak pawn and focusing about that should be just by start changing as much as possible pieces in every endgame part, like as much as less pieces are already on the board, you will be completely winning. Um, okay, step by step, just win that pawn. In the pawn end game, white is almost winning. That's what I can say. Knight a4. I'm going to finish soon because it was a fast game. Rook e1. One more time, you didn't pay attention to your own non-developed piece, so definitely. Uh, you have to continue again with a3, b4 idea, or just bishop d2, bishop c3 could be another plan. Rook e1. Now I'm happy to take that bishop, definitely. So bishop g4, knight d4, here, okay, kick me out. I think you're not so bad now. Just you have to be careful with that weak diagonal. So knight c5 is a blunder. Two question marks to knight c5 because of the, this we call it double attack, thread checkmate and thread knight. So don't go there. Or you can go there only after such a move like b4 against support, create a good outpost and trying to be annoying, crossing the other part of the board. So, and also Try to find, try to figure out the problem with the bishop. You completely forgot about the bishop. Try to play with all your pieces, definitely. Okay, thank you for the game and let's go to the next one. So now I go to the... Yeah, 20 looks like challenge me. Emir is also... You can just challenge me and then it will be in the system so i just go one by one first is clown pusher three minutes game have a good luck yeah poor bishop just because you make it poor you could make it <laughs> much sharper yeah um much more dangerous okay Kiaro Khan. i play this line from soon so i still don't know most of the lines but i enjoy with that i enjoy most of all when White is leaving me to. White is leaving me to uh, take on e4, and the line is pretty exciting to me. Now, position on the board is like French defense, but I don't have any more a light square bishop, which is a great news to me. Isn't it a pawn up? I'm going to try to take that pawn. Queen a4 is not a real fork because I simply can back. Last time we played too much bullet with this guy, I think so. <laughs> um, uh, at the moment when you capture pawn, X something extra on the board, maybe it's time to come back a little bit. So let's develop in a force way, I think this is going to be the best. To develop in a force way. Okay. That's my hair haircut, yeah, exactly. Um I try to fix that bone structure. Oh trading, I'll be very happy of that. I'm pulling up, I'm happy about trading, yes. I try to play as fast as possible with all my pieces on the board, so... To 
today is not my day. Um, I was wondering why, because soon it's Friday 13. That's why maybe <laughs> all was going down. Night G5 is coming. Oh, this guy wished to checkmate me. Just let's make a simple window to my king. H6. Okay, G4. Such a crazy move. Should I worry about that? Let's change and pawn up and clear pass pawn on the on the d5. Easy win. Uh, no, no. Let's change. I'm annoying like a fly. <laughs> uh, you can find me easy in chess.com. Who is following me right now? WGM, Adriana Nikolova, everyone can challenge me. Feel free to challenge me. Prefer 5 plus 5 at first. If it's okay for you. 3 plus 2 is a bit too fast for me to think. But also okay for fun. Yeah, let's make fun. It's okay 5 plus 5. I'm going to play bullet, so it doesn't matter of the time control. <laughs> Just challenge me, okay? First step is challenge me. Okay, let's just capture. I don't like that knight on g5. I don't like him. No, better to improve my position of the knight. Okay, just challenge me. I will just accept. Three plus two. Okay. You can change the challenge. Don't worry about that. One check is useful. Bring the knight to d5, to f5, to g6. Such a big choice. Okay, such a big choice. Where to go? I think so. d5 is one of the most active one on the board. Three against two. Definitely I'm going to try to create a pass pawn on the queen side. What? Change the rooks? Are you crazy? Come on, I'm going to take a second pawn and then the third one. Double attack, knight d3, attacking b2, attacking e5, so... I would try to analyze the game just on the way. Oh, ampersand, ampersand. Ampersand by which pawn? C or A? With A looks fine. Just push. I had a one student before who said push, push, push. This was his fa famous word. Push! Push. Maybe he meant something else. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, okay, time to activate my king. Pre moves, maybe. Pre moves. not made here. Yeah. Oh, this looks like queen. Check. Okay. Push. Come on. Let's kill that knight. <laughs> I wanted to make fun uh, one day uh, to show you how to checkmate by by uh, knight and bishop. That's one of my favorite. Next one, and then I go to back to clone pusher. Uh, knight and bishop is one of my favorite checkmate. Mm, -hmm. mm Sicilian after knight c3. I will continue with the knight door variation in Sicilian defense. Is it rating rated game? Oh, okay. 
Bishop D3 is not that great placed. Uh, <laughs> the basic moves here are Bishop C4, Bishop G5, Bishop E2, Bishop E3. Bishop D3 just blockade um, the control of the queen to the center. So not so great idea. Makes so much. Difference and I get a subsequent. Hey, Mir, programmer, are you still here? You can challenge me. I didn't receive your challenge. One pawn, yeah. When you go to pawn down, um. When you go to pawn down, the second one is coming too soon. <laughs> or just change all pieces, this is the easy strategy when you're pawn up. Um, what to say? Yeah, you have to appreciate... Uh, you have to appreciate the pawns. The power of the pawns. Bishop d3, then go back to e2, also not so great decision. The bishop on c1, like Sonia before that, uh, <laughs> the bishop is still on c1, so not so great. Persian, the chess is coming from Persian people, you know. Name is Persian. I've seen it now. I, I still don't see you, I see you just clown. Clone pusher is uh, already challenged me two times, so yeah, said bishops. Nobody of you care about the bishops, and that's very pity because um, that's one of my favorite pieces on the board, especially when the position is opened. What's mean the position is opened when we have an open center, when the center is not closed? Very, very rare situations are when. Uh, center is closed. Uh, such examples like French defense, e4, e6, d4, d5. No, 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 he challenged me now. Yeah, I see him already. Persian developer. He's from Iran. Iran, so in Iran, uh, they. They create chess. Chess came from there, so they're very, very strong people. 1 for 13. Yes, I'm going to accept after this game. <laughs> he knows he just did something else because he was the third challenger after two of you. Uh, before, okay. I never try to be stockfish level 7. I never try. Uh, I don't use it. I just use stockfish by engine. I don't use it like program. I don't think so I have to play against engine. For me it's a little bit boring fact. If you know that somebody is so much stronger than you on the highest level of him. Oh, you disappear again. No, just stay challenge me. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know why you disappear. Um, just it's a little bit disappointing if you know very well that it's like when you have to play against Carlsen, Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> hey, Gary, it wasn't so cool <laughs> before, <laughs> before 30 minutes maybe. There's some um, one more time technical problems. But it's more exciting when you have a problem in front of you, when something is so, you know, smoothy, <laughs> it's, it's boring, no? So, when you have some problem, you try to fix it, you try to solve it. <laughs> when you have some exercises uh, in front of you, you try to solve it. 
when you have something ready, you're not so hungry. Okay, I'll try to take that bishop. I told you that's my favorite piece on the board, so I try to simplify already because again I'm pawn up. So maybe it's not so interesting to you, but I try to play as simple as possible if I can. Um, <laughs> no luck, so you can leave me already. Yeah, it's already not interesting. There is no luck. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, makes some sense. Uh, but <laughs> of course, I will do some. better brain <laughs> okay I try to doubling the pawns here yeah he 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 did it he did it just he uh, he forgot sometimes that uh, he's playing really good all levels exist exactly I think it's something is really very important not only playing uh, all day all night <laughs> one of my favorite songs uh, but uh, something really important is to trying to update to improve yourself every single day it's like a regular job uh, if you wish to be uh, much better than than others then definitely you have to read some more books than others or you have to update yourself in that way, but every single day, like reading maybe f today two pages of the any book of the management or whatever of trading, how to trade much better or whatever. It's like in chess. So if you um, if you do several more exercises today, I'm sure you're gonna be better on the next day. Such a thing. I like my knight in this case. Doesn't matter that position is opened. Most efficient way to improving chess. Working every day. Working every day. One Indian player, one Indian woman grandmaster, she become after it grandmaster, and I make an interview with her when she won some tournament, online so tournament, and she said, oh, I'm just training 5-6 hours per day, <laughs> so I was, wow, because all my life uh, I'm busy with something, <laughs> I know maybe these are uh, many, many excuses, but yeah, I'm drinking coffee, coffee right now, <laughs> but it didn't help me in the beginning of the stream. So you see, I play almost bullet. It's not so long game. <laughs> okay, so she said about that. Yeah, five, six hours. Every regular working is giving us a final good result. Thank you for the bishop, Trinity. But I anyway, I think so it was trapped. So <clears throat> you don't have a big choice after rook, doubling my rooks. Just a bad place bishop one more time because I think so you didn't develop him on time. Um, okay, time for the next one. I hope Lucky Fritter can, can challenge me finally or not. He's worried about something but probably he could beat me. I start with three losts today. Uh, where is going the Persian? Persian, 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 never. You don't wish to challenge me? Why? Um, how I can find this guy, Persian? Okay. Ah, thank you. You, you challenge me. It's hard for me to find you otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with D4, favorite move of Gary. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Not Levitsky, but London system is enough good for what side. 
Bishop G3. I forgot to play E3 here. <laughs> there is a one interesting line with the early E3 and then Bishop captures D6 and Queen G4. But now my knight is already on the way, so I just play simple Bishop G3. Sometimes I'm also stealing some interesting stuff from my students. So some of them are just giving me an interesting, exciting ideas, which I never think about. <laughs> so 3000, you play 3000 games, I'm still 1-5 at leeches. Exactly. So just because you just play, <laughs> have you ever studied something or how many tactics you cover or such a things. Yeah, only playing uh, is not that great. I think I can simply take a 95 or direct 95. This 94 shouldn't be so good. I will go to first e3 move. I don't care to lose my bishop because I'm going to open h file. Yeah, definitely. E3. I can still play E3, yeah. <laughs> okay. 95 now, it's it's interesting. But I'm going to lose a pawn. Stone wall. I could play C4 before that, but... Okay, let's pin that knight. It's a very, very bad place. Bishop e5 <laughs> could be good, but I don't wish to trade so much pieces on e5. Probably I'm going to kill the knight on e6. This some student told me that it's not so bad idea, and then I could reach e5 e without so much problems. Okay, I can take also d6. It's interesting different ways yeah spending hours and hours but let's say you're gonna spend 10 hours of playing <laughs> or how many no let's say you're gonna spend four hours of playing per week uh, per, per day sorry uh, or three hours of playing instead of three hours of playing Try to do it uh, step by step, like one hour training and also one hour, one hour training, one hour playing. Or one hour training, two hours play, playing. But first try to cover as much as possible um, puzzles, tactics and then go to playing. Yeah. Um, actually... Oh, this is a very bad place, bishop. I will not take such a bishop. <laughs> I just go back. I think you can you can uh, make a combination between these two things. So as much as stronger you become because of training, you're gonna make fun. So make some sense first to train a little bit. Um, training chess. Let's say you can never lose something because of that process. If it's boring, find a way. There's different different websites. Probably chess.com is one of the best in the world. Lightchess.org too. Um, Chesstempo.com. So you can find your best interface. Um, what can provoke you to start studying or to make some fun? There is a children way to like chesskid.com if you have children you can use it too puzzle rush or just solve the regular puzzles it's not only about ch puzzle rush it's also puzzle puzzle battle if you find puzzle battle like more exciting to you just do puzzle battle don't listen to everybody else so it depends on you what what's make you what's make you funny What's make you happy? 
during the process. So all of us we are all different so we cannot say no you must play French defense you're gonna play French defense you're gonna beat everyone with French defense <laughs> of course not um, let's say Carlsen the world champion can play everything but for the uh, normal human <laughs> like me uh, I have a choice so I, I would like to have a choice what to do. Let's try to be more aggressive on the king side now. So you can solve puzzles, you can do other exercises, you can read books. If you're a good reader, if you like books, just go to read books. So everyone is liking different different stuffs. Somebody is liking to listen to somebody else. Listen grandmasters on YouTube. Somebody is liking to reading books. Okay, just go and read Russian or English very good translated books of chess. Try to cover the basics at the beginning. What are missing to you? Quizlet Castle? Definitely I have to open my eyes to push some more pawns ahead to open his king there. Persian develop is holding on the position still. He still didn't lose anything. How about c4 or c takes b4? c takes b4, I'm going to bring the queen there, so maybe better to improve the position of my rook. Much better, yeah. And then I can capture. I don't like the queen is coming to b4, and now I can see pulled capture back with the rook and doubling the rooks. Much better, yeah. So. Let's say playing three hours, for example, after one hour, probably you start blundering extremely much more than when you start playing at the beginning. So, makes no sense just to play so much. Like in my fourth hour, probably I also start, start blundering too much, so I just stop playing chess. <laughs> so, I, I believe with everyone is like this, in some moments just the, the brain stop working. I think it's something what is really normal, normal thing. Um, so play until only you're feeling good. But if you lose, let's say, 10 games in a row, also one more good sign to you to stop playing in that day. <laughs> uh, what I'm teaching in my lessons? Uh, interesting question because I'm teaching uh, the pants of my students. First of all, I wish to care about their I wish to care about their wishes, what they wish to improve, what are their weaknesses. First, we're gonna cover some of the uh, some of their games. We can play some more training games to definite their level of chess. And then we can start improving their weaknesses. There we can create a completely new opening repair to our. We can update the old one. We're working on the middle game part. We're working on the end game part. We're working on the different type of homeworks like strategy, positional sacrifices, tactics also. We cover different topic of tactics, such a things. We start covering also uh, I think one of the best book is 50 strategy receptions but for that uh, sometimes only reading is not enough only only look at something it's not enough you need much more explanation about that that's the <laughs> that's the job of the coach sometimes explain much more than the books, explain much more than the engine. I think that's more important. For example, when I had a coach when I was a child, I wanted, if I pay every single euro to him, I wanted a huge explanation of him. <laughs> like, uh, if he stay at my home, I really wish to explain me six hours some variation until I'm understanding it. So, if we wish to cover some opening, oh, definitely I'm going to sacrifice. That was my plan here. 
so if we start covering some opening part, I had a hundred questions about him, <laughs> about it, if it's a new one. So that's the job of the coach to explain much, much better chess, to start understanding chess a little bit, what's going on, what's the idea of chess actually. All the final goal in chess is of course the final result. Everybody, everyone needs to win. Um, like this guy, I wish to hold on the <laughs> exchange up. Why I sacrifice exchange? Just because I see that his position is so much hanging. He play without rook. The rook on h8 is completely out of playing. Uh, his king is pretty naked. No defenders around him. Uh, well, he has some rook in front of him, but I cannot call him a uh, so good defender. When there is a knight around king, almost there is no checkmate. Yeah, he wished to trade my golden rook. I think I don't have a choice. I have a rook f6, maybe. can make fun of that. Even if I change, I have a pretty nice knight. I wanted to keep my checkmate attacking. Rook f6? He can continue attacking me or not? No. He can sacrifice on e5? No. So rook f6 looks good. I prefer to keep my rook for more checkmate nets creating. As much as more pieces you have on the board, there is a huge chance to checkmate the opponent. If you simplify, uh, you can simplify only you have uh, something extra. Now I don't have something extra. So I need pieces. Also, sometimes the power of the pieces it's not like in general. Uh, like rook cost five points now. No, I think my knight costs much more just because he's holding on the all squares. I can update, I can improve the position of my knight, and he cannot. Especially after f4, I'm going to close the center. And rooks are very, very tough place piece when the center is closed. And also his king is in real danger. My next move could be queen a7. Thanks. So slow. I think it's not about the speed. I think um, your opening part was interesting. Uh, just I think you take a wrong decision when you go to the queen side castle. Yeah. Okay. Who gonna be the next one? Come on, Gary. When are we gonna play? I forgot when was our uh, last game. So let's go to clown pusher. What to play now? Let's play this system. The bullet system. Come on, when woman invite you, you have to accept. That's not so polite. <laughs> D4. I'm not so familiar with that opening, but everyone is playing it. Actually, I wanted to play the carousel system with knight c3. I watched several games of him with that one. Maybe I could push e4 earlier and then they will never know that I'm going to continue with the same structure. It's very easy to memorize that opening because all the time white is playing like King's Indian with white side. Um, yeah, train t c3 e4 system or I go direct to the e4. Maybe first rook e1. Mm. Next, next, maybe knight f1. I don't like to capture on e3 by, by pawn, that's why... Okay, here we are. Now I like my game. Okay. This guy will go to the queen set castle. Oh no, come on. This is faster game, yeah? 3. What is the time control? 3. Is it 3 minutes, this one? Where can I see? Um, oh, it's a three minutes. There is no increment. I have to be faster. Okay, great. Hmm. Okay, let's develop here. Try to open again to the queen side part somehow. Uh, 
but the great is to keep my d3 pawn and push c3. Yeah. Center is completely closed. I hate such positions. Oh, this was a winning of pawn, I think, so yeah. F7 looks hanging to me. Thank you for the pawn and thank you for the exchange down. Mm, yeah. Mm. Bishop d6. Okay. Let's take one of the rook. I need a little bit of bu bullet style just because I lost so much time at the beginning of. Yeah, yeah, it's a three minutes game. Okay. Here we are, ready to discover attack. Thank you for the night, clone pusher. You lost too much pieces here. Trying to create a beautiful checkmate net now. That's what I need. Bishop behind, queen in front. He didn't allow that. Let's kick the queen out first. Okay, next one. Turn weight. Okay, we have a new guy, turn weight. But first, I'm going to play with uh, Trenty. Trenty was challenged me before you, so the next one will be turn weight. Yeah. Here we are. Trenty. Discover the channel. <laughs> Yeah, discover the channel. Discover the channel. Um, was losing so much pieces, yeah. Discover attack is one of my favorite. Rui Lopez, do you know this line? It's a longer theory here. One time, some girl was preparing against me so, so good. But her coach, you know, her coach was in the in the tournament room. And at some moment I play, looks like some new move to her. And her coach came to came to the game. And then they both disappear. She stand up and go with him in front of me. <laughs> so I was a little bit disappointing and of course informed the arbiter. So don't worry about such a stuff. I think cheating is a something what is very ugly to me. And to avoid that, we have to be clear. We have to be very, very fair. Uh, playing fair play chess. Um, I don't think so. It's a good idea about the cheating. Because if you cheat, you can cheat one time, two times, three times. And finally, somebody going to catch you. And then what do you win with that? Is this enough feeling uh, to win some game? Is this enough good feeling to win the game just like this? In this way? And especially when they catch you, you're the, the black point in the world. <laughs> uh, so I really don't understand people who are cheating. Um, yeah, that spin is unpleasant. H3, they're gonna capture. How about E5 first? Capture, capture. Knight is under attack. I'm not sure how to defend here. Poor you just knight E2 is a good, good way. Making doubling the pawns, but I have a bishop and knight in front of my king, so I don't worry about this so much. Keep my bishop. I have strong center. Soon e5 is coming, so I like my position. 
Jig 5 very often is uh, much worse comparing to my pawn structure. Let's prevent knight b4. I have some fresh idea behind that. Just I need to prevent knight b4. Okay. Of course I did, for sure, when I was a child. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, to be fair, it's not happened to me in the tournament games when I already became a grandmaster or even international master before that. I try to be precise, strict. I'm very disciplined in some, some, some stuff. I really uh, like to be professional and I think so that's not my style to... That was a central pawn. That's not so good. I mean you can blunder if you have two seconds on the clock or lose the game but handsome <laughs> I think he's genius he's exactly Mozart in chess about handsome I know much more handsome uh, people than him uh, I cannot say you cannot be perfect you know to talk perfect to the people to understand people to coach the people and at the same time playing perfect like Mozart in, in, in music you know so <laughs> Um, there are no perfect people, and he's also not like this. He's just genius in chess, that's it. I just respect him, yeah. So many years on the top, it's not easy, definitely, it's not easy. He's just perfect there. I remember uh, the last match of him when he was worse in a worse position against Caruana. Worse position, maybe he was a point down, I think so. And such an important moment, he just go to play soccer. That's incredible. <laughs> he just go to play a soccer or some match, I think so. And then he just fall down, uh, broke his head almost. <laughs> and then he watched the match of the world champion. That's incredible that that can happen only to Carlson, to nobody else. So, uh, <laughs> in that point, he's a little bit crazy. Yeah. Okay, I have to somehow bothering that knight. He's not so good placed. I don't know why I didn't do this on time. Kasparov, I don't have any idea. I don't have any idea. He was the first one, uh, my first uh, favorite uh, player ever, reading several of his books, so he's still my favorite player. Why I'm white all the time here? Kasparov is aggressive, he's having aggressive style, one of the first coaches of Carlsen, so... Come on, he's playing. Uh, he was played soon. I think he beat at some top players. Pumniachi or who else in any Rapid or Blitz game. So, okay, guys, we have again Tarsh Ration on the board. French. Yeah, I think I didn't play so well. Uh, but it was still enough, yeah. Turn weight. Turn weight. These active players in my sounds. Thank you, turn weight. So, um, A6, isn't it a wasting of time? Okay, let's go for one check and then see what's going on. Bb7, okay. Can I capture C5 for free now? Just take, take. It's based on the pin. And then just hold on the pawn if I can. So just simple knight b3. <laughs> really? 
really? Did they say this? Come on, do you remember that? I, I remember all what they say in uh, three, three years maybe of working process or two, something two and a half. Well, not following them so much. Well, try to memorize some of the games maybe. Karpov, Kasparov. What? <laughs> Come on. I didn't say that. Just saying that maybe most of all don't follow uh don't follow um woman chess players <laughs> just because women are blundering much more than than men. Um maybe that's why I share this with you. 31. I'm gonna become 31 in November. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this guy? Yoda? Who is Yoda? C3. C3 is important move, I think so. Okay, the d5 pawn and I will repeat, I'll try to hold on that pawn c5, it's uh, much more now. Yeah, that's unpleasant because my knight is under pin. I could simply kill that knight maybe, yeah. i try to simplify. Chat? No. Come on, I'm not so old to have so old child. <laughs> you have video lags? Not again, come on. Ah, you have! What is my connection showing again? Excellent connection. Okay. <laughs> okay. Speed test. Maybe it's time again about speed test. Okay, I go back here. <laughs> um. G4. Can I simply push G4? Pia Kromling. Actually, I think so. She's pretty old, no? Pia Kromling. She's pretty old, but looks like she's having a young, young talented daughter. What she's promoting on? Let's try G4. I'm pulling up. I'll try to simplify. But mating one, it's something what is... Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't allow that, never. She become... She become a uh, European champion, as I remember. Let's take this. Chest bump. Okay, we can look at that, yeah. Mm, okay, three plus two. Turn weight. He's attacking me. A simple bring my rook to the third rank. Looks like good defender. back with the knight. Crumbling, pure crumbling. 
Which one? Oh, I see. I see the game. Okay. G H five. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Just having twenty seconds. I cannot read your messages anymore. Let's go to G three. Looks solid. Pawns up already should be enough. Yeah, the strategy of making grandmaster kids. Uh, it's not working all the time. There are many, many couples like that. Uh, and you know, sometimes uh, children of genius. Uh, Genius people are not so clever, we can see. So, don't think about this that it's so promising. <laughs> it's funny, yeah. Now I go back. Just change. It's time of bullet now. Can you see eight? No, he didn't allow that. Okay, move my king. Okay, let's pin the bishop. Let's just change or just take the queen up and try to checkmate. So, okay. Have I another challenge? Okay, again, clown for sure. Probably the last game, and then, yeah, we can go to that competition, world competition, to look at how a top woman grandmaster is a uh, blood rank. Yeah, it's possible just in one move when you have seconds on the clock. Uh, you can do it, yeah. Three minutes, just three minutes, okay. But try and pressure, I can see that even I saw already that even Carlsen is blundering, so under time pressure, everyone can blunder. Don't forget about that. Only if you're Asian, you couldn't blunder. Simplify, I have a clever bishop now, I think so. <laughs> I can say that uh, if you don't have time, you can lose every single game. So, don't go to time pressure. If you can, try to play regular fast. Not so fast, not so slowly, try to play regular speed. Bobby Fischer, yeah, let's see if you're under the mask, under the mask of your parent, you couldn't be so good. There are less less exceptions even in the in the music too, like Iglesias family of Iglesias, um, Enrique and his father. So Julio Iglesias just another style of music, and then Enrique Iglesias also a very very good passion passion uh, singer. What can I say? But Hello Angel, enjoy with our playing. Now next we're gonna uh, continue with uh, analyzing some top woman world game. I have two minutes. That's more than enough time. Let's improve my position of the queen. I go to fast time out, I have enough time.
Okay, here I am again. Oh, one minute is something. More than enough. Okay. Oh. Let's get to doubling the rooks. Looks easy. Easy strategy. Oh, thank you for the bishop. Probably mistake of the mouse about J3 moving. I don't know. <sighs> Rook B4 also was crushing. Okay, let's do it now. Double attack. Where is going the queen actually? Oh, I trapped the queen. Cool. Okay. Really? Don't play so friendly chess. Come on. Okay, I won zero. Cool. <laughs> uh, okay. Nobody else. Probably the same guy, but now I'm trying to speed test. Yeah, it's going down a little bit for some reason after 12 o'clock. It's already Friday 13, by the way, so pay attention what you're doing already. <laughs> okay, I'm going to that link now to cover why, 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 why peer crumbling lost lost that can i close this chat room sign in wait a second to sign in you just bomb sign in maybe it's going to be better now how to delay the left side of the board not sure <laughs> okay ah i can make it smaller like that yeah, oh, just like that. Ah, you see, the board is very small. Different interface, yeah. I think it's enough. Yeah, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, now the crowning game. Yeah, Gary, order that. <laughs> Uh, she's playing against um, Joseph Dumolik. Not sure if she's from Kazakhstan or something like that. Okay, let's go from the beginning. Um, part of chess.com. Okay, you know more than me. <laughs> so, we can look at the game in chess.com also or what? Okay. Crown link is with black side. Sicilian defense with e6, a6, Sicilian can. Uh, c4, okay. It could be something like Marozzi, okay. Queen c7, knight c6. Standard idea of black. I don't see something wrong, so just white is playing pretty solid with the white color. It's very hard to reach the 7 rating. Okay, how much is having she now? I don't see the rating of that. Yeah, they didn't give us. Okay, castle, castle. In such a moment, white is having 1 hour and 8 minutes and black is having 1 hour. I think it's almost equal to the moment. White is having a little bit advantage just because of space and central advantage. Um, I don't see something special, so just black is holding on and playing a little bit empty moves like that. Bishop d8 could uh, could give a chance for white to be more aggressive, maybe. Or I think black has to step on c5 here by knight anyway. Can I just download the game and analyze it or... No. Uh, uh, here I can download it in PGN. Anyway, so f4, f4, and bishop d8, very passive continuation. Black has to step on c5. She's 17 years old. Yeah, why not? If she's only playing chess and doesn't have any 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 other stars around her why not oh her focus 100 percent is of chess so uh 
you never know her coaches, her preparation, her motivation, her goals. So if you give everything, then you will receive everything probably. <laughs> make some make some sense, make some logic. It's not only about playing, they're training really hard in such a countries like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, <laughs> all these countries. Um, I'm really careful when I play against them um, because they respect chess and they pay attention to chess like a real serious sport okay now this trading only five I think this is one of the most important moment where black has to be careful push e5 or push d5 just push something now looks like white's control fourth rank so it's hard for black to broke down this or she can still keep the pressure, I think so, like bishop a8 is also a standard idea of black maneuvering the queen to a8 to having much more pressure on e4 I think black most of all has to stay, or after capture here looks like she has to capture back with the, with the pawn not by, not by rook I think he has to capture back with the pawn um, with the pawn because attacking the knight and still having uh, still having pawn in the main center and also kick out the knight from d4 and also not having any more isolated pawn now on d6 what I see now she receives a very bad pawn structure after taking this decision okay rook d1 Knight captures, capture here. Hmm, white is doing here several mistakes too. After knight takes, probably she has to take with the bishop. So first discover, discover attack of f file and not allowing to the black to capture with the knight. Now, why she didn't capture the bishop on e4, I don't have any explanation. And then queen g3, keeping the pin, discover, open. I think she has to take the bishop, not trying to pin him. It's not a real pin, even. Also, white is doing several mistakes. The most famous uh, mistake ever is when you take a decision how to capture, with which piece to capture. It's such an important moment when we look at the situation with the pony fight first. A second moment, so much red moves I see in the moment when white and when also black capture on e4. So before every capture, there is a huge chance to make a mistake. Where is coming the problem? Well, too much calculations. Too much calculations and sometimes not because opponent is lazy just because it's too much calculations and sometimes we cannot calculate so much we count probably about two three moves and everything else could be just wasting up too much time on the clock and if you waste too much time on the clock now white is having 10 minutes black is having three minutes and i i believe that's based on white Pia is losing that game. Otherwise, here is 0 0 0. Queen c7, first mistake. She has already one minute, so what has to be the expectation of that? She has already one minute after queen c7. What she has to do? Well, she could simply take b3, queen d8, check, king g7, knight g5. Such a, such a uh, drawish position looks like. She's having enough defense on f7 by followed by rook e7. So before here problems already with the knight instead of taking that pawn. She was worried maybe to be trap trap the knight, but okay, she's still fine here. She's back in the game, pretty cool position. Okay, she blundered here, looks like. Yeah. She blunder. Why she give up so important pawn on f7? I'm not so sure why she did that. One more red move, what to say? You don't have time, you did blunder after blunder finally. 
the final result is not something what is a miracle. <laughs> so capture, capture. Ah, I understood that she is a checkmate in one. What did you say? Wait a second. I understood you were a little bit wrong. Yeah. Okay, blundered. When you say blundered, uh, it could be means two things that she she missed. Ah, I understood that she missed a checkmate in one. Oh, she blundered. Okay, they did against her a checkmate in one. Oh, so she blundered. Yeah, she didn't prevent it. Okay, I see. <laughs> wow, nine h six. Uh, because this is discover protection of F file, yeah, that's really cool. This is discover protection of F file and F file, and that's why I shouldn't pay attention to that. And because she she thinks so, maybe that now she's creating a pin against the queen, and queen cannot goes to H8, and that's why there is no checkmate on H8 now. I think this is the basic trait now. Right now, queen h8 checkmate, and um, she tried to prevent most of all queen h8, but this is not the right way. She has to put a piece on the way, like rook f6, knight f6, but it's still losing, Gary. So even if she see the checkmate, if she, even she see the knight h6 or queen h8, prevent that, it's hard to defense here already. The basic mistake is here. You shouldn't uh, give such a basic pawn on f7. It's a huge mistake. Uh, most of all, this is the blunder, not after knight f7. Yeah, too much blunders. Now after knight f6, simple defense move. Every time I set, when there is a knight around your king, there is no checkmate. <laughs> so yeah, here it was 0, 0, 0, knight f6 and Oh, I can move knight f6, I think, by this way, not by this way, no, knight f6, here we are. Uh, here we are, knight f6. Knight e5. I think I lost the game. Ah, uh, no, I didn't. Here is the game, yeah. Knight f6 now, yeah. This is the drawish line. Knight f6, pawn takes, queen takes, knight f3. Looks like pretty drawish. Everything is equal. Knight is around king. You save f7 pawn, so everything is perfect. Okay, Gary, time to play a game against me. <laughs> okay, probably there are many, many other interesting games here. What we can cover, but let's see. Fide, Woman, Grand Prix, Abdumali, Kramlin, who else? Goryachkina beat Juven Jun. Oh, let's look at the Bulgarian game. Antoneta Stefanova against she's ex world champion against Maria Maria Mucichuk. Okay, here we are. We need to do the same thing as before. Uh, no, come on. Why cannot move the board? Ah. Okay, here we are. Almost perfect. <laughs> so, Stefano is with the white side. She's a D4 player, most of all. I watch some of her games. I try to follow some of her games when she's playing, for example, London System. Or uh, some Slav Defense with Black. So, she's a good example that she's still on the top of the wo woman world chess of uh, first 10 for sure keeping the level of 2500 and uh, black grandmaster is maria mutajuk uh, she was a ex world champion she lost very very fast the match against we fan fu number one from china uh, so let's look at that game Mm -hmm. So white is starting here by e3, so she probably is going most of all to the Kali system, e3, b3, with the white side. Black is playing pretty active, she, she developed the dark square bishop, 
and the light's gonna be shoot successful so I don't think so black is having problems here this opening is slightly passive to the white so let's go forward to the more exciting moments we don't need that now yeah we need mistakes we are thirsty for the mistakes okay here we are again we have such interesting situation in front of us um, so much tradings in front of us so center center we have a headache because of this center capture d5 capture e5 so where has to be the best choice of white now to capture on um, d5 or e5 Mm, I think so capture first on d5 uh, I really try to create a pass pawn of black here so I, I prefer first to capture on d5 and then capture on e5 if I can and then d5 will be hanging in the end okay let's see yeah she took also d5 and then e5 okay now d5 is isolated my c pawn is opened Again, we have a choice in front of us. Take on d5 by knight, take on d5 by bishop, and take on a6 by queen. I think three of the moves are good, so sometimes uh, it's very hard to take such a decision. I will never take on d5 by bishop, giving up my bishop, for example, but this is only me. I also prefer to capture, in this case, the central pawn, so definitely knight takes d5. I mean, you cannot. You can see very, very clear the the difference between the central pawn and the ending pawn. So you have to take the central pawn. Most of all, by knight, yes. Here problems. Maybe knight before or rook b3. Very, very tough place. Rook in the end of the board on a3. So you have to activate him on b3, going to the reaching seven rank. Rook b3, rook b7 looks like the best too. She's improving the knight now. I could improve the rook maybe. But she just go to slightly better in game. But it looks like opposite color of bishops are pretty drawish looks like. Plus one is showing us the computer. But where is the key here of plus one? Where is the main key? probably very very huge weakness on a6 this is the basic key here after this game i hope somebody of you could challenge me so we can continue playing of course so bishop c8 if not i'm going to continue playing against somebody else so bishop c8 attacking the rook it looks like double attack so she just lose a piece in that case Counter-attack, bishop f6, counter-attack, attacking the knight, and finally losing the rook. Okay, in this moment, why black, yeah, why black didn't play rook c6, just because the knight on c5 is also under double attack, so very fast win of white side, very fast win. Move 35, black is already completely lost. So, eh, we, we can go back a little bit to that boring part maybe you think so this is extremely boring but in such a situation maybe maybe huge percent of you will agree with draw it's a very very drawish uh, end game maybe Gary will say this is so boring and we have to make a draw and not wasting our time about it <laughs> because he just didn't like end games but it's playable Gary and even after five moves more black become completely lost black become completely lost um, opposite color of bishops too and good example how just white control the OC file so he's having a choice she's having a choice of reaching seven eight rank and try to be much more annoying comparing to black black cannot reach second in no way there's no way coming to e2 or d2 <laughs> it's not an enemy yes it is it's rook end game in this case <laughs> you definite the end game based on the most powerful piece on the board here we have rook so it's going to be a rook end game 
Okay, so it was a good game of Stefanova with the white side. Bulgaria beat it Ukraine. Oh, such a strategy sacrifice here. Counter attack. And now, in general, two pieces are stronger than the rook, but in this case, we have a very, very strong advanced pass pawn. And game starts when I cannot get checkmated by pieces. I'm not sure, Gary. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so now it's easy probably to, to take one of that pieces because of your powerful piece. Exactly. Powerful pawn. So, exchange up. Long fighting of black side. But no need. She has to resign much, much faster, I think so. This is just wasting of time. Yeah, finally she resigned. Okay. Sometimes there is a fair play and sometimes there is a time when you have to resign, especially when you're world champion. It's too much material down here, so... And also Stefano is ex-world champion. Very, very quality player. Okay. I'm going back to play with you in chess.com. I hope you could study some more tricks in that end games and uh, also this uh, Pia Kramnik checkmate in one. <laughs> she blundered, but she blundered before that just based on the time pressure. Again, time pressure. I go to the three, plus three minutes, three minutes game just now and waiting for your challenges again. It's not my favorite time control 3 minutes, but I'll try now to beat that Spanish guy. It's something like Rosulimo variation uh, with bishop b5. Okay, queen is coming. It's something rare in general, they capture back with the, with the knight. I'm not worried about queen here, just uh, this guy is helping me to push um, e5. I think 3 plus 2 I prefer, but when I play really serious games... Okay, now this pawn is hanging, so I need any counter-attacking move, maybe just like queen b6. I think 3 plus 2 is more close to... Uh, serious chess, but in general I would like also to play on time very often. More quality chess is 3 plus 2. When you have advantage then you have time to realize it, so that's the idea of that uh, increment. Um, okay. Mm, I'm going to kill that knight. Let's decide with what. Maybe probably by knight is good. Pawn takes. Pawn, pawn has to take. Then we should be five counter attack. Oh no, if we capture the knight takes g5, then my bishop. Oh, I have to take with the bishop. Didn't I win a pawn b2? I think so. I can just take the pawn. Come on, Angel, you can challenge me if you can. If you're still online or you're on the phone, maybe. Okay, let's take as much as possible. Now, Bishop is under attack. I prefer keep him like that. But d5 pawn is under two times attack, so... When you're up on time, you cannot use that advantage. Yeah, in 3 plus 2, you cannot use that advantage. The idea of 3 plus 2 is only if you play uh, better chess, yeah. <laughs> if you play better chess just to continue realizing that advantage. When you play on 3 plus 2, I can see if you play against a stronger opponent, uh, you can never win on time. I think so, this is another factor. Or when I play also 3 plus 2, if I'm going to lose, I will lose just because of the position, not on time, never on time. When you have 2 seconds, it's impossible to lose on time. 
Especially online, especially online. This guy is defending so hard. But I think he's already he's already pawned down and the second pawn is on the way too. He's defending so hard. Trying to win a second pawn. Okay, P -p 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 he didn't give up. Uh, by the way, I'm ready to change. Maybe. I'm having a defender. Great defender. E4 looks pretty to limit the knight. Provoke him just to change F pawn if he wish to do that. Just keep it on. Keep it this two. And attack the other one. Time to activate the king. Why not broke down this pawn structure already? Yeah, here we are. Uh, wait, maybe I have to go back. Yeah, I'm taking my rook. I'm going to take h4. That's my idea to open up a little bit more the position. Oh! I didn't see that! I wanted to come to f6. I don't know why I blunder. I wanted to come back to f6. Mm, that's not good. Oh, f5. Ah, I blunder too much. I hope I can still win on time. Check is nothing. D5 is hanging, so... Um, where he's going on? I have to get out from these checks. I think he's playing on time. Okay, I evacuate my king. That's going to be interesting. Here I am. F5 is not that great, but I need it. Finally, I won d5. This guy gonna win, gonna lose for sure. Too much pawns are coming, guy. Stop joking with me. Push! Oh, come on. G3, tick, tick. No. Okay, let's bring the king down. What he wants? G3, I miss G3, oh my god. Let's go to G3. No sense, he gonna lose on time. Yeah, that was stupid of my side. <laughs> uh, that was stupid of my side to uh, blunder my bishop. It was completely <laughs> winning. <laughs> okay. Uh, does give you money for not streaming at Liches? What? Give you money for not streaming at Liches? Liches, well, just the... Uh, I don't know if you see, but if you pay attention, but that streaming is the interface of chess.com, so... Uh, I think so, I will start working for them, so... Hoping for more promoting such as stuff, uh, nothing so so much. But I think uh, I wish to meet so, so much so many new people and trying to uh, give them a chance to play against me, to analyze these games too. Yes, that's what I mean. If I'm working for Chess.com, I have to use Chess.com. If I'm working for LightChess.org then I have to use only light chess. That, that's it. Hi, this is some Brazilian. Two knights. 
Let's try this line. 95, we should be 5 check. It's a long theory here. Let's try queen f3. It's more rare line. But get out. I can take or I just keep the pin. I prefer to keep the pin because it's too much compensation after it in the open position with pair of bishops for black. I'm now pawn up, so it's enough to me. Sometimes this has to be enough. Next step is just trading. Right now I'm not working for chess.com, no. I'm just starting now, so I don't have so much expectation about that. Just I have to improve myself and having much more hours to do that. Um, but ho I'm hoping that I can... So now knight c3 or first d3? Let's try d3. I think I need much more hours to be more professional. And then, uh, yeah, chess.com is helping me for the interface, of course, and for the starting of streaming, too. Yes. I plan to work for them, yes. And maybe I could. it will be great if I can create some more tournaments for you using the chess.com. I could also um, play matches, interesting matches against some more grandmasters or Mrs. Bottas, why not? <laughs> People can uh, know more about me than... Yeah, I'm still pulling up and I did a castle. So, hmm. how to change the dark square bishop? Maybe there is no way. Knight h5 is fresh. Let's centralize first, make pressure. F it's a little bit hanging pawns. He cannot develop the light square bishop in the best square. e4 is nothing, so. Let's push c4 maybe, or first bishop d2. I like knight h5 too. Hmm. There are people who watch one streamers more bait. I don't understand why right now. You have less viewers because you're, um, after all. Oh, I just start streaming and maybe um, sometimes playing chess is not so attractive. So I have to find myself. I'm searching for the way still. When you're a new one, how people will know more about you. This was blundering. Uh, so definitely I think so. Um, I have to improve some stuff, trying to be perfect almost about streaming, about the quality of uh, streaming and... Oh, again the same guy, okay. <laughs> Sicilian, the same variation as before. Okay. And this is she just started and there are other okay. Yeah, let's go to not losing the center if I can't just push e5. Generally, I'd move away the bishop to g4. Uh, yeah, there are defi definitely many, many factors if you wish to become a famous streamer. Um, I, at the beginning, I didn't battle so much attractive streaming, probably. 
like dancing or whatever. Uh, I think so, I'm just a grandmaster. I hope so, I'm not being so boring for most of you. I think so, the most of my spectators should be, yeah, probably amateurs or, or lower rated players in general. Uh, to be fair, I'm not a top world uh, famous uh, woman, but I think I'm enough good uh, in this uh, area, so definitely I have enough knowledge to share with you. This has to be your, your stymo and your inspiration. So now capture on d5 by bishop and then knight b4. I think I have a little counter-attack against this. Knight b4 looks fork to me. Yeah. I could lose now e5. Um, Knight c2, knight d4. I have a free road after a3. My knight is not trapped, yeah? So. Mm, yeah. Opposite color of bishops, but then it's going to be like. Uh, Stefan of a game, probably. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. Um. Probably if I start playing some matches against somebody or if I create some more tournaments, it's going to be more attractive to you. Otherwise, you could prefer Nakamura, of course, about playing Blitz and analyzing. <laughs> National Master, let's crush this guy. In the opposite color of bishops, probably he's dreaming on a draw, but he doesn't know still who is against him, who is playing against him. I think I have a very, very powerful pass pawn, so I'm trying to use that power a bit and maybe bothering that bishop and trying to win that pawn if I can. a4 and then b4, a4, bishop a2, hmm, <laughs> against Jobava. By the way, is Jubava streaming? Do you know? A4, B4, A3. I like that. I'm going to try this. It looks nice. Maybe I can lose some pawn <laughs> on the way. Okay, I'll try this. A4, B4, and after it, A3 to broke down the pawn structure like that. But he will not take. If he takes, he's gonna lose the bishop. But he will go and play just bishop C4. That's what I didn't like. Ah, you just go there? Really? Rook K4, maybe still keeping the pressure. Take, take, yeah. I'll try Rook K4. I'll just take and check was nice too. How not streaming? If we play a match, it has to be streaming. So here, push, then what? Take, push? Your first push. No, 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 I have to take. Oh, we don't have time now, the game become very hot. Okay, and if I'm attacking the rook, what's going on? The bishop is hanging. Bishop b3. Bishop b3 is bad, yeah. He found it. Okay, I'm going to... I don't like to take their here. Check better, much better. No. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take everything on the way like that. It's going to be draw. Um, I don't like such boring games, yeah. Mm, 
Oh, could we win on time or what's going on? I lost some time, yeah. I'm sad because I didn't crush him. <sighs> oh, he has the courage to challenge me again, but he's very, very weak, so I don't like to spend the time about him. Okay. Let's change a little bit. Clown for sure is again ready. <laughs> uh. He's very stupid, I don't like to waste time with him. Sometimes when you play against weaker opponent, the boring thing is you never know what he's doing. You're expecting all the time the best move and he's playing just bullshit, so it's a little bit boring way. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will play against the Brazilian just he need a little bit rest of stupid playing of him. <laughs> He's just fast player. Nothing special. Okay. Let's take one more pawn, let's go back here, safety. A2 is hanging, you can take A2, come on, take A2. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Do you think so you can save your bishop? I don't think so. No, no, I just said that it's hard for me to... Uh, to suggest the good moves. <laughs> uh, it's hard for me. This guy is from Finland. I've never been in Finland. Slowly! Well, the problem here is because I'm uh, a little bit talking more than my opponent is doing. So this check now is tricky. And let's take this pawn. Could be poison pawn because I spent too much moves about capturing C2. Uh, but I think so. My queen could be under fast attacking, or he could receive some fast compensation about that. America? I never been in America, no. I've been two times in Russia. One was the Olympiad in uh, Hamtimansk. I could simply take and push e6, I think so. You can find some attacking here. Queen c7 looks unpleasant. Maybe I have to sacrifice something just to develop on time. I can simple take your yeah. I never been in America. My father was in uh, some city trying to have a work there, but it was very very hard, and it was years years ago. I have many students from America, different uh, different cities, and the connection is very good with them <laughs> on Skype. But about streaming, sometimes I need a perfect one. Yes, I agree with that. But not depends everything on me. Sometimes it's perfect, sometimes it's going down. There is a little little lag of, of the playing or. Okay, let's simplify. Let's simplify. The first thing is to bring the queen back. But he wished to take on b7, I think so. So let's kick the queen out. And knight c5 will be a great defense. Not anymore. Okay, this looks ugly, but enough successful to defense around my queen side. 
And then I'm going to capture B2 after the queen is already out. He's having only one move and now I'm ready to take one more pawn, yeah. Get a tournament but not being the first then all flight money. <laughs> Wait a second. You'd like to talk about money, money, money. Okay, how to develop here? I'm, I'm having so much pieces now up. Oh, queen b6 is great. He doesn't wish to trade, of course. He's so much pieces down. I need an urgent development, otherwise I'm in trouble. Bishop e3, then let's change the position of the queen. Okay. How about bishop b6? Looks good trading. Knight takes e8. Oh, my knight is in trouble. Okay. He wished to come to e4 to yeah, knight f6. Now I can lose b7, but I'm still pawn up, so... Okay, attacking my bishop. Let's go here, I, I don't care. In general, when I uh, go to this, any tournament, uh, it's full paid. It's full paid by by organizers. So even I receive honorars about that. Yeah, my norms cost to become a woman grandmaster. It's like man grandmaster. Three hundred thirty euro about it. So. I need to be faster now, so I will speak less for not losing on time again. <laughs> In general, we, we receive conditions, we receive flight ticket, uh, flight ticket, everything. Plus honorars even about playing. Especially when it's a team competition. Organizers are paying to have a grandmaster in the tournament. It's a prestige, you know, it's a big honor to have them. And, well, some people appreciate that. Um, you can promote your tournament if you have any Grandmaster, if you have Carlsen in your tournament. It's the same when you have a close to woman tournament, for example, and you invite a beautiful uh, woman Grandmaster in your tournament, and then you can make 100 photos of that tournament and promote your tournament much better. You can sell your tournament much better. You can find sponsors much better if you find such a players and invite them and give them conditions. It didn't cost so much because you didn't pay from your own money. You find sponsors all the time to organize such a tournament. And that's why part of the money about the tournament are going to the conditions of the grandmasters or just title, just title players too. If somebody wish to challenge me, please feel free to do it. I'm here just for you. Not about playing against just someone online. Who planned wrong? Uh, less tournaments I, I pay by my by pay by myself. Less tournaments. When I become already a woman grandmaster, I just select them. Just select them, of course. I will not spend 1000 euro, to be fair, <laughs> to play a tournament where I didn't have a chance to become in first 10 and <laughs> take back the money, yes. If you ask me this, yes, I will never do it. <coughs> um, I could do it if I have a sponsor of that. Otherwise, no sense to do it. This guy is knowing theory. Okay. Hmm. I could go back. 
Not so bad. Then I'll try to fighting for the center. I think knight, this knight to this zone was a good move, as I remember. And then trying to push e5 in some of the um, potential positions afterwards. f6, not sure about that move. Now maneuver the bishop. Hmm, maybe to f7 or g4. G4 looks more annoying. China pawn. <laughs> he's not from China. He's from Australia. Um, I can't take and push e5. But I prefer not hurrying up about pushing e5. I wish to have a castle before that. So let's do it slowly. Ben, thank <laughs> Let's call him and ask him, Gary. <laughs> uh, I said he only loses money by playing chess, like tournaments. <laughs> uh, but he can earn a little bit by things around chess, like maybe coaching, streaming. Yeah, most of all, I earn my money from coaching him. Yeah. And I hope streaming will be another thing, additional thing, if I could have any success. I will not give up, if I, if, even if I have 5 viewers, 5 stream, 5 followers, like one year. <laughs> so, I think I will make, uh, still make fun. How about e5 now? Pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes. It's going to be discovered attack. First take e2, then I capture back. I think I need more preparation. I'm not sure, but I first wish to kill the knight and then push e5. Because c5, wait, c5 is hanging, so I'm not sure where to capture. Oh, he sacrificed. Yeah, I'm not ready about this. Yeah, exactly. I didn't pay attention to that. Yeah, my yeah, f6 is a bad decision. <laughs> this guy is dangerous, yeah. But I'm trying to take that bishop. Now my pieces are very bad placed. Very bad. No. Not changing. I have a very bad place bishop, yeah. Pushing e5 was a bad decision. Very bad decision. d5 is coming now. Oh my god, I have to play on time. <laughs> Very hard life. Who is having hard life? Wait, <laughs> this is interesting. This guy is playing very fast. I'm surprised. Oh, I could take c5. Oh no, I blundered that. Shoot. Let's take here at least. Oh, queen e8. Queen e8. Bye bye. He didn't see that. Okay, cool. I'm still in the game. Feeling very bad, but I'm still in the game. Queen a6, still protect that. Queen here too. Let's make a window. If I take a5, I think I have to resign. Mm. Don't know what to do. Close to resign. We'll find gold streams. If he's okay, I'm going to sacrifice something, but I'm rook down. Hmm. I'll go back now. <laughs> oh, check. Probably check again. 
Oh no, this check was a mistake. They were playing F3, no. Oh, I gotta be checkmated, no. Check, check. He gonna take my rook, probably. Oh no, okay. He doesn't have time to. For some point he lost some time. Sorry about that. I just blunder. <laughs> okay, let's pay attention to your chat. I don't have time to read all these stats. He's a fabulous coach. I don't know, Ben Feingold. He didn't take a part active in a tournaments, Olympiads, whatever. I think he's just streaming, trying to be professional in it. So I cannot say something about who I don't know personally. Uh, hard life. I don't know if it's hard if you go all around the world and because of chess, chess was giving me so much things to, to visit so many countries um, and if I take another regular job, um, I think I, I cannot receive such uh, benefits if you uh, just work something else like, I don't know, secretary, <laughs> manager, whatever. If you just have a regular job, you have your um, limited life of living, of uh, doing some uh, stuff, family, whatever, you just stay at home. <laughs> this is what I can say. For example, my brother probably staying at home 30 years. He was a soldier, he was policeman afterwards, but he didn't get out from the country probably about 30 years. So I think so. This is too much. This is too much. That's a little bit boring, and uh, I am the opposite side. I'd like to visit so many new people. I'd like to talk much more with the people. I really like communications and. And uh, this uh, gives me, to be fair, uh, so much energy when I communicate with the, with the people. There are two lines here. One of it is connected with G4 and H5. This is uh, Dragon System, long theory. I'm not sure I will memorize here everything, but I will try experiment. That's the beautiful part in chess. You have to be ready about experiments. Let's go first for 95 or first for G4 line. Yeah, okay, let's let's open up first and then 95 first and then H5 maybe. Different order of the moves will give me more freedom. Or maybe for stage 5. Let's go for stage 5. Open up the position. Oh, he took it. Really? First, then 95 is more precise, better order of the moves, I think so. And then capture here, bishop takes. And then first sacrifice. How about if I sacrifice? I will try to sacrifice. I think it's indeed in that variation. And here we are. Yeah, I'll go first to each one. I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't know Eric Hansen personally too, so I cannot say so much about this. Attack my knight, okay, now what to do? What are the options? If I capture h5, it's too much sacrifice probably. <laughs> Finally, if you sacrifice so much, you could resign. <laughs> e5, queen h7 check is not a mate, so I think I have to run away. I think I have some type of compensation, but d6 now is pretty weak, but all my goal here is to open up the g h file and cr create some checkmate there, or create some pin there. Okay, I'm ready to take here. 
Okay, now H5 is open. Something interesting is going on there. He can... Oh, he tried to sacrifice here immediately. How about Queen H2? It's not a checkmate now. I need a defense. I don't like this position. Oh, I could take G4 and the Rook G1. What about if I take g4, queen takes e3, rook g1, queen h6, he's having defense of that. Hmm. Let's kick the queen out. Let's kick the queen out. I don't have time to... Again, again, again. Pin the bishop looks fresh idea now. Never say never. Never say never. Okay, let's evacuate the king, not the genius. This guy is playing on time, oh my god. I hate this. Mm, oh, take this immediately. Bring the king maybe here. We are here, we are. Rook c3 maybe. I have a worse end game, so. I have to bang my rook here oh no I have this check okay check again I think I don't have time otherwise my position is not so bad okay already I'm worse one second of course I'm gonna lose on time Yeah, try to read everything and play is not that great idea. <laughs> okay, yes, 20 for me to 6 is the same. This is playing the first round and Wimbledon. <laughs> Wimbledon. I didn't follow, so did you study at university? Yeah, National Sport Academy with chess. <laughs> okay, Raptor. This guy challenged me again. I don't think so. He's so good. Uh, he's playing a long terrain dragon. Uh, I just sacrificed to make fun, but not sure if it's if it was correct. I think his king was pretty open, so I could play much better, but it's not easy when you don't have time to calculate everything. A rouser variation in Sicilian defense. I like that line. Not many people knows that. E6, A6, H6 system. There is only one line where black is worse. I think knight takes E4 in this case is working very well. Capture my queen, capture back the queen. So pawn up in the pocket. The question is where I can go afterwards with the knight after bishop h4. I think his knight is hanging afterwards and if he captures c6, pawn takes. Bishop somewhere. Wait, knight takes e4, bishop takes d8, knight takes d2. Knight takes c6, pawn takes c6, bishop somewhere. Uh, maybe I need first bishop e7. Oh, he's having some tricks. Alright. Yeah, he's betting on the fast playing. 
Definitely. This is very good one. I don't think so. This is working for him. Just uh, I run away from my weakness on d6. Definitely. Um, this is a good idea, Black. If bishop captures, he plans to take my knight, which I don't like so much. Knight takes g4, he gonna take g7. Okay, let's let's be let's change the direction here. Knight, no, it's very complicated. When I change the queens, I think in the end of the all this line, h2 gonna be hanging, but he doesn't wish to do it. Okay, I think queen a1 gonna be checkmate, so I try to make this trade. Maybe first take here, and then queen a4. Oh, it's so complicated here. In Sicilian, you need much more time than. <laughs> Queen a1, king d2. Rook takes h2. Looks looks fantastic, no? I think he didn't see rook takes h2 now. What to do? Very, very bad. I think I won the queen just because of the bishop is under pin. He just play, I think, so, so fast. I lose also my queen, but I'm going to be... Oh, nothing more. What? Come on, let's take intermediate here. Okay, this looks queen up. If I don't become checkmate. He just have one minute more than me. I think if I don't fall asleep, I could crush him. <laughs> it's okay. Check, check. He even didn't wish to give me so much checks. Okay. That's great. I just wanted to trade the pair of bishops. Now zigzag checks. Push. Push. Thank you, guy. You're so clever that you, you, you give me all your pawns in for <gasps> full. I didn't expect to go there. Come on, this guy is so stupid. He's hoping just playing on time. That was so bad. Checking for mistake. What to check? It was completely winning. Rematch? How he can have so much rating? 350. I just blunder in one. Hyper bullet. I don't like. I, I like bullet. I like playing bullet. Uh, just to practice sometimes my opening part or just to make fun. He he's using now the same line. He knows that this is bullshit. He knows that he was very, very losing before and he continued using that line. Cool! Very stupid guy. No, I'm trying to play much more aggressive than before. Let's say classical, but not sacrifice this time because he's so bad that I don't need to sacrifice I think so I just need to crush him by the way Karabsen yesterday played against one top grandmaster of Bulgaria Ciparinov is his name and he lost the first game he lost the first game and can you imagine can you imagine what's happened after it Karasen beat him. I'm not sure how much, but it was 
too much. <laughs> it was about uh, nine one or something like that. He, I think so. He catch some more draw, maybe one draw and one win. That that was about all his match. So he start with loss, but uh, he beat it him too much after it. <laughs> By the way, losing games makes me more angry and uh, rising up my adrenaline and uh, also it's inspiration to me, it's inspiration to me, um, inspiration to continue um, playing in aggressive style afterwards. So now I can take d6, I can take g6, I, can, I could push h6, I think everything is good. I'd like to take g6 and kill that bishop, change him and trying to create a checkmate net as fast as possible. Rook a6 is coming, this poor guy is still trying to catch me here, but just I have a3 or king c1, king d2 has to be enough about the fence. And I don't see how he's defending uh, the checkmate. Queen h6, queen h8. So I hope he can shake my hand because of that. I don't know if he's playing serious or not. <laughs> I didn't watch his face so much. I just saw the final result of that. So let's change the position of our queen. Maybe he's coming now to a6, I don't know. Mm, yeah, let's attack him here. Queen h8 gonna be checkmate. He didn't see. He didn't see. Queen h8, king f8. Okay, now a2 is in trouble. I have time to move away my king here, here. Okay, it's very strange how to continue this attacking. Maybe just rook h7 followed by that. No, urgent, I have to move away my king, otherwise I, I will be checkmated. Mm, I have knight c1, maybe enough defense. Maybe. Enough, it's enough sacrifice. I'm not sure about the defense. Oh my god, he dropped my queen. Oh my god. That's another crazy game. I think he spent too much time here. It has to be completely winning. For example, in that moment, I could play simple chess, like just take that pawn. I think so, this is completely winning now. Rook c6, no matter, I could continue taking. Rook a6, again, no matter. Queen h2 with checkmate threat, this check is nothing now. g5 next, bishop d4 next. I think uh, I tried to sacrifice against this guy and this is a wrong strategy. <laughs> Okay, let's challenge him again. Okay, streak continue in standard chess. I'm not sure. I think they play a match. They play a match. Long match. He declined, yeah. Okay. I think they play a match. But, uh, good night, Gary. Hmm. Here I have a very interesting strategy um, with h3. I think he ran away, he's scary. <laughs> I 
I think three of the games are winning to me, but uh, most of the way I'm doing um, the same mistake every time. Wasting uh, too much time in a completely winning position. Every time I'm doing that. I try to avoid that with the years of playing, but... Still, this is existing here. Is it working really? The knight is under attack. Maybe I need a queen d4. And then capture e4 if I can. Your queen is going to d6. Or I could capture b4 too. Oh, he took with the knight, okay. Two pawns down, but I don't feel them so much. Okay, so... Bishop d5, sacrifice, again. Let's create some kingside attacking if I can. In bishop f6, I don't like to change my bishop. I think I can take it here. Yeah. It's just a blunder. Okay, I'm back in the game after my blunder too, so don't forget about it. Even if you're blundering, opponent can do it too. So... Mm. <sighs> The chair, the chair could play against me too. Can I capture g6? It's look interesting. If I had another rook, I could do it. <laughs> it's funny. But I don't have, so it, maybe it's too much. Let's just bring the knight to the attacking. Okay, I appreciate the power of two pieces, so, so I could simply take it. Or just 94. 94, capture, capture. I think it's the same. So I can take in the 94. Check, knight g4. What I'm winning? Nothing. So let's just push f3. Come on. I have to activate my rook, I think so. F5. Okay, I'm going to the triple attack on E6, I think so. He prevent that. Hmm. King f6. King f6, 97, 94. I just go back. Bullet is starting again. So let's improve the position of the king. f4 is not so bad. Sacrifice. But I don't like to do it. If I push f4 successful. Not now. Okay, I don't have a good defense, so let's go for counter-attacking here. And that'll be it next. Mm -hmm. I think I can take c6 or just give him a check. Let's take as much as possible and then spend time about something else. 
Let's take this rook too, just for free, because he go into the discover attack. I think I have to stop such a pawns on time. So I go to play pre-move. Probably he didn't see that he's under a discover check. Sometimes people are so angry of themselves, so they just leave the playing career. <laughs> okay. Huh, okay. This was a nice win. I'm under 2 3, so definitely I go up now. I think I need several hours to start playing good. <laughs> Dump? Dump donkey! Cool! Let's go for some crazy Sicilian again. Sometimes, you know, you blunder because of the primal, so try to be precise in that point. Um, oh, this I'm going to capture it immediately. F5, F5 touching the F pawn in this case is a good decision. What's going on after Bishop H4? Where he's going? G3, G3 looks weakness anyway. And that trade my bad place bishop in Sicilian, the dark square bishop, is a great decision. This is open up completely the position, so I have check again. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, if I wear my sunglasses, I would never... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> We're making fun with my sunglasses, but they're holding on my hair, so... Oh. They, they're they holding on my position. <laughs> In Blitz, Blunder is something normal, I think so. In bullet, blunder is something regular. <laughs> so, uh, only in 3 plus 2 we can hope about better playing. How about check? Take d5, looks like hanging. Wait a second, but queen g4, queen g4 doesn't exist. Queen h5 looks double attack, which I don't like it. So let's go back. First, let's go back and then think about something aggressive. I think d5 pawn is anyway hanging. No, not anymore. First, let's protect the rook. b5, b4 is my next plan, maybe. Oh, I could kill the knight and push e3. No, I think the bishop on f6 is a great defender. If I have lit, oh, he would try to double in the rook, sacrifice on g7 and crush me if he can. So rook e7 is additional defense. Okay. b5, oh, I could take a2. a2 was safety capturing. Yeah, he found it. <laughs> I go back. I think d3 is enough weak, so I I have to try to reach d3 square by by queen c4, queen d3. Yeah, that looks cool. So, queen h6. Try to just to take my bishop. I think so. If I run away, rook takes g7, bishop takes g7, I think this is fine. He goes back? What? What's, what's this? Ah, 
he offered me draw. I even didn't pay attention to that. So, let's create a pin. Let's not hurry up to change pieces, if you have a choice of that. Um, let's make a little window. Oh, he just take it. Really? He just take it? I'm going to take d5 anyway. Now he doesn't have discover attack because I take d5 by check, so I think it's great. It's become bullet playing now. I have better bishops, so I'm not worried about my plank in advance. Change one rooks, good, good sign for me. I can take the knight in every single moment, but I don't like to take him. First I'm going to improve position of the light school bishop. Not that huge improvement. I take H2 anyway. No time. No time. What? Come on. This cannot be true. Really? Time cool two three two three two three. Okay, I'll go up. I will go up. A subscribing button. <laughs> Interesting question. I don't have any ideas to probably because I, I didn't go to the next level of uh, of Twitch. There are three levels, yeah. So. I think, I hope I'm gonna receive such a button when I go to the <laughs> next level of Twitch. Yes. I just uh, add a donation button, so if you wish to support me, uh, you can just use the donation button. That's all what I have now. I train 85, control the center. D5 is a very important square in Sicilian, and also the D6 pawn is the basic weakness in Sicilian for black. When you go down, when you go to my channel, you just go down, and there is a one little girl, it's calling donation with big letters. <laughs> you, just, you just go to my channel, you scroll, you scroll down, and you see the donation button. I think everyone can see it, or just it's my <laughs> opinion about seeing. Um, Bishop d3 is nice, safety. Did you find it? F5. Next, I will try to limit the dark square bishop because again I'm having a pair of bishops. So one more good example of you to look at how I'm going to realize that. Um, F4 gonna be a fresh idea too. Ah yeah, click on the picture exactly. <laughs> when you click on the picture, then it's working. Yes. Well, just, uh, I think it's enough big one that you're gonna understand 
Oh, I blunder d5 pawn, take, take b5 pawn. Okay, let's let's keep that pawn. <laughs> yeah, you have to click on the picture. That's a nice girl, cute, no? Oh, express, AliExpress, oh, express from Italy to two thirty. This end game is interesting too. I don't have any more pair of bishops, so I try to push b4 if I can. By the way, b4 is little trap of the queen now. <laughs> Really? Looks like picture, not a link. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought it's nice. <laughs> uh, C5 captured D6 looks fork, no? If he captured, he could play something else too. Make it where it's not available because of that. I cannot donate you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what can I do? Uh, I think uh, there are different options of using. Uh, you could use uh, some some cards. Know about it? There are different options of that. How about if I continue capture C five? Mm, they just fork me and I'm exchanged down. Not so good, but I'm so much time up. So I'll try to use my pass pawn. He's under checkmated, so I could simply push here yeah, and bishop d5. Very good defense of that pawn. Oh, uh, I think bishop is not hanging. No. Probably already it is hanging this pawn. Yeah, I cannot do so much. Mm, I think this is completely losing already. How to hold on? How to hold on? I go under pin. That was a very, very bad idea. Yeah, that was expecting guy. I'll continue playing on time, nothing else. Last hope, playing on time. He took my bishop too. No choice. much time of him, I think so. Do you level up and we can subscribe? Yeah, I hope so, yeah. It's going to be soon because I just need days of streaming, not so much followers. I think I reach other stuffs. Okay, this guy... I blunder again. Yeah. Oh, he thought he was better. That's great. To give somebody just a point and then he thought he was better than you. Let's jump in the center. Centralize. I like to take that bishop. Making some power on the queen side. B4 first looks great. Where is he going? Okay. I think I have some space on the queen side, what I like.
Here's the push C6, okay. I can simply take C5 now. That was my previous idea to develop my bishop in a forced way. And now develop and doing castle as fast as possible. I think so direct capturing sometimes it's not so good. Mm, better first to capture and then castle. Is there dangerous attacking against me? Hope so not. Queen g4, I just have queen f6. Okay. Okay, I have a nice related pawn, but I think so. He's having a weakness on c2 too. Oh, d4 was nice, because after it I have a queen d5, fork him. Yeah, I'll try to do it now. Queen d5 now? Oh no, there is no queen d5 if knight f5. But I have a queen g5 here. Is double attack too. He must go back to g3, I think so. Checkmate or capture the queen. Uh, or capture the knight. Hmm, okay. He wished to trade the queens. That's interesting. But I don't like. If I can't put more pressure on any weakness with so much pieces on the board, I, I prefer to do it. I think c2 now is more important because if I reach second rank by my rook, it will be very powerful. Also now this uh, structure of b2 and b4 pawns is very very ugly. Let's make a one prophylaxis move, like little window. Threat checkmate, queen c6 is interesting, but he's just having f3, so... One of the great ideas, start pushing. He's having knight f5 too now. Threat checkmate. Maybe I need a defense of that. I think king h7 will be enough safety. Let's see if I'm correct. Knight f5, I just plan to push g6. Looks safety, yeah, to me. I could come back with the queen. Queen g6 was also nice. I think the end game now uh, you can see the pawn structure. White is having now two pawn islands, and I'm having three. But I feel like I haven't even pawn pawn up in this case, just because my uh, constructor is much better. He can take now d4, but he will go into the deep pin. Which I believe um, there is a huge chance for him to lose the knight. Or I can simply take b2 and then b4 too. Yeah, he's scary to take d4. Okay, uh, just start collecting pawns maybe. I will go back to d5 with the checkmate threat. He didn't pay attention to this, but this was the basic threat, okay. Um, don't try to collect so much pieces sometimes, because of losing of, of time. Try to, most of all. Um, I will play now some rare line. That's my line, bishop d3, but knight b3. Most of all, this is working when there is no uh, e6 and a6 line in another order of the moves, but anyway. These double pawns are not so huge weakness. 
just because I can improve them and I can try to hold on the biggest deck. Now you see now C4, C5 pawn become very annoying. Queen H5 soon gonna be double attack, so I can try to do it soon. This Queen F5, Queen H5, Queen F3, good placed. Yeah, Queen H5 is triple attack. F5, cool. Is it something hanging on the way? Ninety four, bishop d four, rook d one. Let's centralize. Oh, I would be happy to improve position my queen. Like we can come back, triple attack, and then bishop c four. It's a good trading of the light square bishop. He's a good defender, and also after e four, he's gonna open the biggest diagonal. I would be happy with that. Anyway, I'm going to change this guy and start thinking about the bad position of my knight on b3. Let's take maybe and create a pin. f4 is interesting now. Play against the pin or first capture and then f4. He gonna push e4. Connected pass pawn, that's what I don't like. Okay, queen b5 looks attacking, more aggressive. Mm. <laughs> okay. He defends. Knight a5 looks crazy, but looks enough active to my. To prove the position of the knight, what I wanted at the beginning. Mm, can even capture by bishop. My queen is attacking a7 plus defending a2. And c6 discover attack, that's what I like. Discover attack of e5, triple attack, and it's a nice tactic. To open up the position, make it sharper, because this guy is really defending very, very well. Okay, here we are. I changed my weak pawn to the stronger one, and it's time to much more attacking him here. Time to reach probably 8 rank. He didn't allow me that. Okay, then I go to the other open file. I don't like to trade the rooks too. It's very boring if I'm going to trade the rooks. Attack me here, okay. How about rook here? F3, rook F4. Looks dangerous. But now this is a little weakness, so... F3, I'm not worried about F3. I'm just waiting for his weakness. He just pushed too much forward, so... I think so. Queen F1, Queen F1 looks dangerous. But I have some zigzag checks. Maybe take f3. Oh, okay. Yeah, he found that. I have 30 seconds to find the fence. Maybe just queen c3 and take f3. Yeah, let's play simple chess. Yeah, I'm going to take f3. Otherwise, I have perpetual checks for sure, but I don't like that. Now queen and game, 100 moves, I have more time than him, I hope I'm gonna crush this guy. Next c4, of course I don't like to make a draw. Just many, 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 100, 100 annoying checks. I'm ready to do it. 
Chick, chick, come back. Um, chick, chick. Chick, chick. Just check. Check. Come here. Oh, he improved the position of the king. I didn't pay attention to that. Okay, let's go to d6. Ah, he didn't take it. Okay. Here we are. Mm, how about check here? I'm hitting such a position where I cannot improve. Oh, really? He sacrificed the queen to win on time or what? Okay. If somebody of you wish to play against me, please follow me and uh, challenge me. Oh, he wished to give up the bishop. Yeah, that's great, bishop now. Going to the biggest diagonal. Oh, quiz set Kasu immediately a5 b5 starting. First attacking. Trade now b4 and take the central pawn for free. Okay, I cannot touch the knight. That's my mana minus, otherwise g7 is hanging. So, okay, I have to take, I think so. No, I have also 98. Or I have also zero attention and follow my attacking. Anyway. Thank you, Trinity. And okay, have a good night too. We hope so you can come to the next one too. Thank you for following me and support me too. Can you capture e4 for free? Bishop takes and then supported by d5. Looks dangerous. I can lose the bishop maybe in that way. Knight g5. Knight g5, push d5, f3. That's what I'm worried about. I'm into the deep pin after bishop takes e4. c5 after it attacking the queen. Hmm. Looks interesting. Try to take it. I have a c5 after it. And d5. Mm, I don't understand why he sacrificed. Probably he, he didn't calculate correct. Okay. That's good news to me. <laughs> yeah, probably this is gonna be the last game. I'm even not sure how long I'm streaming on. Okay, well, I'm something up, so I'm going to change for sure. Doubling the pawns, no matter. Rook e8 next, maybe. Think about reaching second rank or think about rook a1 and trade the rooks as fast as possible. Mm, okay. When you have such a position, for example, you can pre move to the end. <laughs> okay, here is end on time, but I'm already very tired, so thank you guys for the all following me, all challenges, all support, all comments, all chatting. I hope you can be part of my company long time, even if <laughs> I start working for chess.com or I become uh, whatever streamer in the world, I will continue uh, paying attention to all of them. Because I don't like forgetting about where I'm starting from. Um, so thank you for the all support. It's very important to me. Thank